So today, doing something a little bit different, we're gonna take this, the ROG Ally, and we're going to turn it into a stream deck. Not really a stream deck, a streaming computer, secondary computer. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, so first off, I want to say yes, I know that there are computers that you can buy that are better than this for a secondary computer or streaming if you want to do that. But I have the Ally and I thought, well, let's put this thing to the test and see if this thing can actually stream and not, you know, burn up after all the issues that this thing has had. Anyway, so we're going to take this and we're going to install OBS and we're going to get it up and running and we're going to try to stream this thing. <clears throat> See, see what the CPU draw is, all that good stuff. Okay, I do want so to I'll put this up on the screen. Uh, but the hardware I'm using, obviously, the ROG Ally. This is the extreme one. Uh, I think you can find it discounted right now, like 30 or 40% off, something like that. Initially, they are 499 699 something like that. So 699 for a secondary computer. Uh, you could probably get one better with better specs than this. But... And, and this one only does 1080. You can't do like 4K on, on it or anything like that. So that being said, obviously the ROG Ally, a dock like this. This one has an Ethernet cable on the back, an HDMI out, uh, three USB 3.0 ports and a power. So there's that. A capture card. I've done a video on this. I will leave it up in the corner. Uh, this is a 4K capture device, um, relatively inexpensive. I think it was like $30 or something like that, $25, $30 after tax or something. But um, capture card. And then I did go with the camera. I, I, I just went and bought a little ONN, I don't know how you say that, own on or whatever uh, from Walmart, uh, which was $27. So not really that expensive. And like I said, I'll put all of the, all of the things that I have for this up on the screen. So... Let's get this started. Let's get this hooked up, get OBS. I'm just going to put OBS in one scene, and then I will record it to this channel, my YouTube channel, uh, obviously privately, and, and we'll put this to the test, maybe like an hour or two to see if it uh, spikes any heat, if the processor gets really bad spikes or anything like that with OBS running at 1080p, 60 frames a second. So let's hop into that. Okay, so let's get the thing hooked up. Put the power on the top of this. Plug in power. I do have a mouse on this. Plug in the capture card. Ethernet because Ethernet is always better than Wi-Fi. Where does this go to? The camera. Plug up our capture card. I am going to use the audio out, little 3.5 millimeter jack to my uh, other PC so I can get audio. And then we have to get an HDMI port, an HDMI cable that I've got hooked up to the back of this monitor. They're sitting right in front of me. And we're going to hook that into the input on this. Turn on the ally. It's on. And I'm <clears throat> okay, so here we are on the ally. Obviously there it is. Get my mouse hooked up. And we're gonna go ahead and start up OBS. There we are, we've got the camera, uh, the secondary camera right there, the Walmart camera. We've already got that set up right here, as you can see, own USB 2.0 camera. 
We'll go ahead and set the res resolution. This one can go up to 1440. We're going to set it to 1080. Click OK. There you go. And then the second video capture device is we'll have to bring in the other, the other computer, which we'll do right now. An input for my gaming computer, and it should find it. And now we've got my, now we've got the gaming computer. Audio input input capture. It's not doing anything, but if we were to play like. Uh, Some music. You can see that it's coming through right here. So there's that. The setup is right there. So we've got that whole thing set up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start up a game and we're going to play it. I'll put an overlay on the screen up in the corner so you can see what the ROG Ally is, is doing. I actually recorded that part of the, the, the stream, streaming it earlier to do in this part of the video. So we're going to put up, put up that on the screen with the gameplay and the the CPU usage and everything like that, it really didn't use that much processing power to get this, and it never, after two hours of doing this, it wasn't hot, wasn't getting, you know, heated or anything like that, where it, I think CPU usage was like 0.01% on 1080 at 60, so yeah, definitely a good option for a secondary computer if you're wanting to use this as a streaming PC. Obviously, this one on the back, the dock that I have, has three USB ports. If you want to get something like that, I would suggest getting something that's powered. That way you're not adding any more power draw to the ROG Ally. So yeah, that being said, I'll put up the gameplay and uh, the usage of this on the screen. And that's the video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about what can work on this, uh, I, can, I can put it on there and plug in different things. Leave that in the comment section below. Again, a little bit of a different video today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Oh, enjoy the gameplay.